Hier ist Kivana and welcome back to my channel, finally! So I didn't plan on taking a break of one and a half months, but life happened. There was so much going on, it was really crazy. So I just didn't find the time to film or edit anything. I have seven videos that I still need to edit that I already filmed and I have two or three videos that I agreed on making uh, with cooperation partners and or other dancers. Uh, I just didn't find the time to do them, which sucks, but there will be a lot more new stuff coming out soon because I have videos that I need to edit and stuff that I need to do. One of the videos is today's video. I will do some really cool cyborgos makeup so you can follow along and I will just chit chat about what actually happened in the last one and a half months. If that's something for you, then Please stay, if not, go ahead. New dance videos will be coming soon and also a photo shoot video and like a lot of stuff. But if you're interested in makeup and me chatting along, then please stay. So today's video is actually like a mini sponsorship. I got a ton of makeup from the brand Concrete Minerals, which is really, really cool. I love the brand. I actually own a couple of their products that I bought a couple of years ago. And what is so cool about this brand is that all of their products are actually vegan and not just vegan, like you can find vegan makeup now also in regular stores, but often they are not in really cool bright colors. So Concrete Minerals has completely vegan makeup and it comes in black and it comes in blue and it comes in brown. So this is lip tain, but I also got a ton of like eyeshadows to try out. So that's really, really nice uh, because obviously I love makeup. I love colorful makeup and like I want to have my or want my makeup to be cruelty free and ideally all of it vegan. And so that's really nice. But first we need to do sort of basic stuff, foundation, false eyelashes, I hate those. And then we can actually start <laughs> with the fun part. I know that like usually you do the fake eyelashes last, but I really, really suck at doing them. So I usually do them first because otherwise I start crying. And well then the whole makeup look is ruined. <laughs> So now I have foundation on and my face is super shiny and I will go on now with the false eyelashes, which I hate. And then I have enough concentration for actually talking about what happened in the last one and a half months. 12 seconds later. So now that I survived the end boss, the false eyelashes, I will actually go ahead and do more fun stuff like the eyebrows. And I will try to talk to you about what actually happened in the last one and a half months, but I'm really bad at multitasking. So I'm either gonna mess up my makeup or I'm not really gonna talk. I will try to do both at the same time if I can. Uh, but let's go ahead and do the eyebrows. So I decided for the Cyborgos makeup, I will actually use some color in my eyebrows to make them more spacey. Um, so I will use Spellbound and Voodoo Dolly um, by Concrete Minerals for my eyebrows. So first a bit of Voodoo Dolly. So now that my eyebrows are done, I can actually start with my eyes and I will use this eyeshadow primer by Concrete Minerals. I haven't even opened it yet, so I'm a bit scared <laughs> to try out this product because I've never used it beforehand, but I'm also excited to use it. So that's hopefully gonna be fun. And I'm failing to open it. So I failed to open it, but fortunately I have a husband who could. Um, so let's try this out now. So the primer that I just applied is supposed to make the eyeshadow colors that I'm also about to apply to make them pop out more. I'm really excited to see whether that's actually happening. And I picked up a couple of like eyeshadows that I will apply now. And I picked up Night Shift from Concrete Minerals, Mystique, Voodoo Dolly, uh, Spellbound, 
and Aurora. So these are the five eyeshadows that I will apply now to my face. But before we start with this, I will actually put some tape on my face. Don't mess up, like put eyeshadow all over and that I'm also able to do my winged eyeliner a lot better. Yay, funky! Okay, finished. This is the look. So I can immediately say I'm absolutely amazed by the colors and what is really nice you can see it shifts depending on in which light you see this so sometimes it's more like blue and sometimes it's more greenish which is really really cool I find it a bit hard to handle I mean it's loose eyeshadow maybe I'm not experienced enough but it really comes down so it really flies all over your face and if you already applied foundation that kind of destroys your foundation or you need to like reapply it um, maybe I just need to practice more or maybe I need to apply the foundation after I did the eyeshadow so that's the only setback otherwise wow the colors are amazing <laughs> blend I say So my card is nearly full, it says three minutes and the makeup is half done but I didn't tell you anything about what actually happened in the last one and a half months. So I will do a quick intermezzo of just talking before I will continue doing my makeup and I'm bumping against the uh, table, I'm sorry. So what happened? You saw maybe a couple of pictures or like one picture from a photo shoot with Jan Spock that I did on a business trip and that was like one and a half months ago and I posted a picture at least to Instagram I think also to YouTube and Facebook and I said more will be coming soon I just need to edit and um, but when I came back from the business trip my train was delayed so I arrived really late in the evening and the next morning we left to uh, another city to Würzburg in Germany for preparing the wedding and so during this time for like preparing the wedding I didn't have time and then we came back from Würzburg back home stayed one day at home and then we drove to holidays to the complete opposite direction of Germany and again no time to edit anything and then we came back home and then we needed to help my mom with moving because she just got a house and then this happened so again just like half a day at home and then going off again to another place in Germany and then I was home for one and a half weeks which was really nice but like one of the projects as work really needed my attention it didn't go so well so I was working a lot of overtime um, yeah and then afterwards we went ahead to prepare for the wedding and since my card is nearly full I will talk about the wedding celebration that I had in between later on and I will go get now a card Hey, I'm back with a fresh cut. You probably didn't notice, but I can now go on waffling a lot longer and I look still really fancy with the stripes, but I will continue talking about a bit what happened because when I do my makeup, I won't be able to. So I had business trip, wedding preparations, holidays, helping my mom move, one and a half weeks at home, but I had to work a lot of overtime because, well, the project at work didn't go as it was planned it should go and obviously I work full time in the software engineering area that is my job that pays the bills and everything so first prior priority is family and second is job and well like YouTube and stuff comes whenever I have time <laughs> someone uh, so I couldn't really film or do anything in those one and a half weeks because I had to work and actually we had our wedding celebration finally um, on like in the middle of August and then afterwards the honeymoon so that were one and a half months where I couldn't 
do anything. I will show you a couple of pictures of me in the dress from the wedding like party. I'm not putting in my kids or my husband because they don't want to be on social media or my kids can't decide yet but I don't want to decide for them to be on the internet and um, they should decide for themselves when they're old enough and my husband just isn't really on the internet so I'm not putting any, him in here but we were finally able to have our celebration we actually got um, married already like officially last year but really small because of the pandemic going on and we moved our party to this year in the hopes that it could happen and yes we could celebrate and it was really really nice it wasn't the like biggest biggest party uh, for German standard it was kind of big it was 70 people I mean other nations and <laughs> uh, celebrate with like a thousand or more for a couple of days but we had really really nice celebration um, so that happened and then honeymoon which was also super nice I posted a couple of stories on Instagram but in those last one and a half months absolutely no time to film anything or in front of the computer I didn't plan that but it happened and now I'm back <laughs> and we will do go ahead and do the eyeliner Now remove the tape, it just gets really uncomfortable. Let's see how this turned out. So I will touch up the foundation a bit now. So I will apply now a bit of night shift on my cheeks. I don't know really how it will turn out, but I'm excited to see. So now it's time for a bit more decoration and then finally we can do the lips. So for the lips I will use black, blue and purple lip tint by Concrete Minerals. I'm really excited to see how the coverage, especially in the color of the lip tint is. I tried out one of the red ones or two of the red ones already like for everyday makeup and what I really liked about it was that it tasted a bit like mint. Um, so I'm super excited to see how the coverage is, how the color is and whether it also tastes so nice. <laughs> so this is the black one. It tastes like mint, which is really, really nice. I'm not sure whether I'm doing something wrong or whether you are really supposed to like apply this like this, like lipstick, um, because I find it a bit hard to do the edges. So if you look closely, you can see that my lips are uneven. I would go over it with a, like a small pencil and like make the lips really nice now. Um, but I find it a bit hard with the shape of this lip tint. <laughs> um, I find it a bit hard with the shape of the slip tin to apply it. Maybe I'm supposed to do it like with a brush. No, I'm not, I'm not sure, but um, like another shape would probably make it a bit easier to apply it. The coverage is good. I had um, like lipstick that had more coverage. I don't know how long it will last if I drink anything, but I definitely also had like lipstick and lip gloss that especially for black had worse coverage and since it's all vegan I really like it <laughs> and now let's top it up with a bit of purple and blue So that's makeup nearly done. I just need to finish everything with a bit of powder so that I'm not that super shiny anymore. And afterwards I will go ahead and do my hair and my outfit and then we are done. <laughs> Thank you. 
So this is the complete look of today. I really, really love it. It's a lot more cyber goss than I did in the last couple of months, but I really missed my cyber goss style. So I absolutely love it. It's the first time that I actually tried out using a wig, this crin to create the cyber hair. And I find it really nice, it looks nice, and it's also a lot lighter. So what I usually do is I put my real hair in buns, and then I put synthetic dreads in, and then I put crim over it. It gives a lot more like gossy, classic gossy appearance, especially because there's a lot of black in it. But it's really, really heavy. So when you put it in for festival or something, it makes your skull really itchy and a bit hurtful after some time. So this is a lot lighter. I will still use the dreadlocks because I also really like the style, but it's nice to have an alternative. So when it's the third day of, I don't know, wave gothic trapping and your skull is already hurting, then I have now an alternative for that. So this was today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I had a really great time filming it. I really missed filming, so I'm sorry that I was absent for so long. I know you're always telling me not to be sorry, but still, I missed filming for you. So I really enjoyed it today. And you can go check my Instagram or my TikTok out. I also have no TikTok if you want to see more of me. Thank you very, very much for Concrete Minerals for sponsoring today's video. See you soon. Bye!